Hello team and welcome to today's video. The subtotal function provides you with an additional way to calculate your data in your spreadsheet separate from other functions like the sum function. Here I have a basic spreadsheet of units sold and gross sales across different countries and different segments. First, let's enter the sum formula for gross sales here in this cell. I'll enter equals sum, highlight the cells I want to include, and click enter. Now, let's enter the subtotal function into the cell above. I'll enter equals subtotal, double click to enter that in. When you enter the subtotal as a function, it has two required arguments. The first is the function number. And you'll see Excel gives you a handy drop-down list here of function numbers that you can include. You will notice you can enter a function number of 9 for the sum, but you can also enter a function number of 109 for the sum. The difference between these two options is that the one-digit codes include hidden rows in the calculation, and the three-digit codes ignore them. And I'll show you an example of what that means in just a moment. Since I entered the sum for gross sales, let me do the same for the subtotal, and I'll enter a code of nine. Remember, that means I'm going to include hidden cells. After a comma, all that's left is to enter the references. So again, I'll highlight gross sales and click enter. You'll notice we arrive at the same number. But let's imagine for a moment in a business meeting, a colleague asks you, well, what were the gross sales for Canada? What I can do is go to the country filter, select Canada and click OK, and now we see the benefit of subtotal. By filtering by the country of Canada, the subtotal adjusts to only display the sum for Canada sales, where the sum formula continues to show the overall sum. So I can answer the colleague's question and pivot quickly to filter by other countries or other government segments if the question comes up. Let's clear these filters using the keyboard combination Alt plus AC to arrive back at our original view. Now let's see what happens if I hide one of the rows. I'll choose the row with the largest gross sales, so row 12 and hide this one. And you'll see the subtotal doesn't change because remember the option we chose was to include hidden rows. So if I go back up to the formula at the top and change the nine to a 109, click enter, now the subtotal does change because the three digit references will exclude hidden rows. One final thing I wanna point out just for awareness, I'm gonna change the subtotal formula back to the reference where I include hidden cells, so the nine for sum formula, and click enter. If I filter again by the country of Canada, we arrive with our adjusted subtotal, but notice what happens if I do hide row four in this case. The subtotal did change. It's now only including the one row that remains. So just keep in mind that if you have already filtered your data and then you hide a row, that will affect the subtotal. Team, as you can see, the subtotal function can be a great additional tool to help you with your spreadsheets and adjust quickly when filters are used. I hope you enjoyed this tip today. Please like and subscribe to the channel, leave comments about additional tips you'd like to see, and please ring that notification bell for future videos.